approved stimulus bill includes relief for the unemployed and for college students and graduates with outstanding loans. I talked with Newsy reporter Nathaniel Reed, who has been covering the bill from the Washington Bureau to learn more about its impact. Nate, thanks so much for spending time with us. This bill has passed. It's on its way to the White House for President Biden's signature, and it has some elements for college students. Tell me about that. Well, it's student loan tax forgiveness. And the reason why this is in here is because this would then forgive any tax burden that you have if any of your student loans are forgiven. Now, there's a couple circumstances where this might happen. If you have one of those income-driven student loan plans where you are only eligible to pay back your student loans over, let's say, a 10 or 15-year period and then have your loans forgiven uh, out of a percentage of your income, that means that you might be saddled with a massive tax bill at the end when that money is forgiven. And by passing this as part of the COVID-19 relief bill, that therefore reduces that burden on the American taxpayer and loan holder in case any of that um, student loan money is actually forgiven. I think it's interesting you say that would ease the burden on the American taxpayer. It would ease the burden on the person with the loan. Right, me, right. The taxpayer, it, it would ease the burden. Would, I'll get taxed for this, right? Well, someone has to pay for this. <laughs> well, well, that's exactly what Republicans in Congress are saying. They're saying we don't have this money. The $1.9 trillion would have been appropriate to spend a year ago, but here we are with the pandemic potentially on the verge of ending. 